here you see newspapers from some of the major cities across the country reporting on the front page certain events that were taking place in Nazi Germany uh, between 1933 and 1939. Um, so for right here, example, the Dallas Morning News, Kristall Knox, November 1938, front page. Um, this was not a secret. This is called the Tower of Faces. And this is one thing I want to point out to you because just take a couple minutes to look around at the pictures. This represents one shtetl, one Jewish community in Lithuania. The little girl right here is Professor Yafa Eliak. She lives in New York. She went back to this shtetl, Eshishka, and she gathered the 10,000 photos, many of which you see here, and which we have online. And again, what this does, we look at the individual. We look at the victim not as victim, but as a vibrant human being. And I think anything we teach, whether it's the Holocaust or any other topic that we're looking at in history, we have to look at the individuals. This milk can is one of three milk cans that was used to bury documents and chronicles mm. of life in the Warsaw Ghetto. And in 1950, two of the milk cans were excavated as well as the other metal boxes. And within them, they found a very rich documentation of what life in the ghetto was like. Actual barracks on loan to us um, from Poland, they are not replicas. Right over here, we have a large scale model of the process of going through the selection and going to the gas chambers because we don't have any photos of the actual gassing, of course. The diary, the quote, and the armband. Just take a look at that. The diary is the first diary that was donated to us by an American in captivity. Most of the diaries that we see, they were you know, written when they were in hiding or before they had to leave. But he was able to keep his diary while he was in the camp. It's also striking because Anthony Acevedo, he's not Jewish. In fact, he's the son of Mexican immigrants. And he is, we consider him to be a survivor because of the fact that he went through a subcamp of Buchenwald. Okay, this is one of over a thousand citizenship papers that was found in somebody's attic in Switzerland. In a suitcase were these documents, these citizenship papers issued by El Salvador that stated that the individuals who were named in the documents, whose pictures appeared on the documents, were citizens of El Salvador, when in reality they were not. Most of them were Hungarian Jews. This is 1944. This is, um, Hungary is invaded in, in the spring of 1944 by Germany. And out of about 500,000 Hungarian Jews, over 430,000 died at Auschwitz in a very short period of time.